It is the craft cocktail moment. I mean, I'd love to learn how to make a classic, classic martini. These three things are sort of the core tools that we use. The mixing tin or a cocktail shaker or a mixing glass, a Hawthorne or spring strainer. Together, they're called a Boston shaker set. We're gonna use our mixing glass. We fill it about halfway with ice. Does the, um, the shape or size of the ice matter? It does. We're chilling the drink from room temperature. Yeah. We want smaller ice, lots of surface area. Okay, Great good. question. Classic proportion for a gin martini is two ounces of gin and one half ounce of dry vermouth. Have you used jiggers before? Uh, not really. Okay, and these are a little tricky, believe it or not. So it's two ounces and one. Between your index and middle finger, pinch the jigger just like that. Position the jigger right behind the drink and you can use your pinky to kind of steady it. Pour the gin in, right up to the top. Go from palm down oh, this is to palm up. Bad. I know, every time. A half ounce of dry vermouth, so just turn the jigger over. You're gonna do the same thing, but we're only gonna fill this one halfway. Go ahead, palm down to palm up. How do you know when you hit half? Just kind of eyeball it. And here's another little secret. Let's start with the back of the spoon. Okay. While this ice is chilling, the drink, it's also diluting. Okay, so let's take our Hawthorne strainer. Are you ready or lefty? Lefty. Put the handle to the left. Put it right down into the strainer. Make a gun with your fingers. Take that barrel of the gun to the outside of the tab and then wrap your fingers right around. Just strain. Okay. Beautiful. Yes. Garnish this with cocktail olives, and that's as simple as it gets. Cheers. Like, cheers. Ah, lovely, isn't it? Good. What we're gonna do is a dry martini. This is also called an in and out martini. We're gonna change how we make the drink. We're gonna shake it instead of stir it. And we're also gonna serve it on the rocks instead of up to change the garnish. Put a splash of vermouth in that rocks glass. You just swirl it around. Why are we swirling? It actually coats the glass. Fill that about halfway with ice. Okay. So now would you ever use an atomizer and spray the vermouth? You absolutely can, yes. It's just most bars don't have an atomizer. So same amount of gin and in the two ounce side, yeah, and just like we did before. And shake this drink, turn the mixing glass over and put it into the shaker nice and gently and you'll see that it'll lean naturally to one side. Grab the top and just push and twist. You'll feel it lock. Please don't ever hit glass. Step off the bar a little bit, and we're gonna, we're gonna work those biceps. I want you to put one hand on the bottom of the tin and one hand on top of the glass. Good. Uh, this makes a very light arc. I want you to shake with the arc okay. and not against the arc. Make sense? Absolutely. Great. Push from the shoulder of your top hand to the foot of your bottom hand. You'll see bartenders do all kinds of crazy stuff with this. this. Thing? I like this yeah, one. you see them do this, you I see like them this do one. this, you see them do all kinds of things. So this becomes slippery very quickly. And this hand and this hand provide a positive stop yes. so that it can't slip out. We want to feel it freeze. My fingers are sticking to the bottom. That's of what mine. you want. So as soon as this freezes, you know that the liquid inside is exactly at 32 degrees Fahrenheit to take this out. You look straight down, and it's leaning one way. To take the two middle fingers and put them on the top of the tin as high up as you can get them. Okay. Good. Take your two thumbs and reach as high up on the glass as you can go. You're gonna take the bottom of the tin into your belly button and just push with your thumbs, and it will come out Ooh. every single time. Wow. We want to ice our service glass. Fill this all the way with ice. It's like a lot of rocks. It should crest over the top wow. of the glass, oh. yes. A mountain of rocks. Perfect. And just strain this right over your fresh ice. And we're gonna garnish it with a lemon twist. Tap this lemon, run the knife right down between the zest and the pith, and as much zest, which is the yellow part, as possible. Let's compare. Yes, oh, you did great. Run the outside, the zest, around the rim of the glass, and you're gonna pop it. See all those oils? Get all those oils right in the drink. Fantastic, and then just drop it right in. And that is our dry gin martini on the rocks with a lemon twist. I'll try that. Very so different. refreshing. It's good. Nice drink, right? Wow. We only made two drinks, but the number of permutations that we just did with those four variables, yeah. You have 16 different versions of just a gin martini that you can now make.